Hey everybody, uh, redneck in a hat. First day deer season, and I'm headed out of Kansas City. It's 1:24 in the morning. Um, we're headed up to North Missouri. Yeah, we're up here in the tree stand. It's about six o'clock. It's still dark. It's about 37 degrees. Just waiting on it to get daylight so uh, I'll check back in with you here in a little bit and there's a lot of shooting um, around the area um, I haven't seen nothing except for a big gray squirrel that's about all I've seen I didn't see nothing all morning. Uh, gonna go in and have some lunch. Um, a couple of guys seen a, a couple small does. They were pretty small. Um, and there was one, I think, spike buck. And uh, nothing, nothing to brag about. Nothing to take home to mom. So we're going in for some lunch and hit it again this afternoon. Yeah, we're back out here hunting across the road from where I was at this morning in tree stand. I was straight across the road and maybe uh, an eighth of a mile away. But anyway, we're gonna go up this direction. We got another stand set up, and I'm the only one that's gonna be hunting on this side of the road. So hopefully, we'll do some good today. Always gotta have a camera bag. Put just a little bit of that's uh, evolve. 3D plus natural woods. Hey, how you doing, everybody? We're back out here in the woods. Um, we had about an eighth of a mile walk from the road, uh, somewhere in there. But uh, we're walking down a big hill, down in a big hall. So. Uh, we're gonna go down here and get in this tree stand. See what's going on down here. stand and uh, not really much of a wind down here it's, it warmed up today it's a little over 50 degrees got some birds flying around making some noise but no deer yet but anyway it's a long way down I'm up here about 30 foot See it a little bit. It looked like a medium sized doe. Didn't look like a young one, but uh, it went up through them trees and I noticed that it came out in the road right up here. Came out and come across. So I got my gun out and I uh, 
grunted a couple times and it started uh, started coming down the hill uh, this way and it got about right here and it looked like it was going to go into the woods there there's a fence right right in here and uh anyway it got behind it got behind these trees here and i couldn't see where it where it went um i'm guessing it went off into the timber over here because it never came on down the hill i had my gun up but uh anyway Maybe I can get something else called in. There's a mama, mama, and uh, I know one of them was a button buck, and the little bitty one um, kind of looked like a button buck, but I'm not for sure. Um, the one that I know was a button buck was a little bit bigger than the small one. Anyway, I, sh I shot at the mama. I was shooting down, I think a little bit too much of an angle than what I thought I was after I got to looking at where she was standing and uh, I'm not for sure if I hit I'm gonna wait it out she ran a little ways just far enough into the woods that I couldn't see I know she stopped I seen her stop but uh, she took a few steps and disappeared in some brush so I'm gonna wait it out a little bit the two small ones walked around in there. I could see them off and on. They really didn't run. The two small ones didn't. I'm gonna wait it out for 30 minutes and uh, see what happens. It's uh, getting close to 4.30, so uh, it's cloudy, overcast, so it's gonna be getting dark early tonight. Hey, everybody. I took and walked and walked and walked in there in them woods. 
couldn't find any blood didn't find the deer so I'm thinking maybe I undershot like I said it was a uh, I was shooting down at a pretty steep angle because I was up pretty high in the tree stand well that was day one of my 2017 North Missouri hunt. Yeah, I went up to North Missouri for this hunt. Um, first day, first morning, uh, sitting there, didn't see nothing to shoot at. Uh, went in, had lunch, uh, just took a little break, let the field settle down, noises and everything, and went back out to set all afternoon till dark. But I went about a half a mile away across the road, straight across from where I was at in the morning, and hunted in a stand that was hunted that morning but uh seen a doe come up through the brush and i got her turned i grunted she started coming to me and she got behind some trees and went in the brush so i didn't get a shot at her which i don't know that i would have i was kind of waiting to see if something would have fallen was going to be following her so that's why i wasn't really trying to shoot at her um and then these three um a big mama doe, uh, a little button buck, and then a little bitty, little bitty doe, about the size of a German Shepherd. Came down by the creek to me. Um, I decided I'd, I'd, I'd try getting a shot at the, the mama doe. And right before I got my gun up to do it, the little bitty deer made a noise down in the sand, stepping on a rock, and the rock slipped out from underneath its hoof or something. And it startled the mama deer. She bolted about 10 feet into the brush. I had to wait for her to get turned broadside, and by the time she got broadside, there was a lot, there was some brush there. I either hit a limb or I just plainly undershot. I'm not used to sitting in a tree stand this high. It's it was about 25, 26 foot up in the air, and I'm used to setting it about 15 foot up in the air, um, 17 at the most, and I, I believe I didn't compensate, you know, enough to, sh you know, to shoot up on her uh, at that at that steep of an angle. Um, you know, leave me a comment if you've had the same situation. Maybe I just need to practice more shooting down like that um, and do some practicing because I've I've never practiced shooting from that high up in a tree stand at a steep angle. Usually I'm shooting out of a tall tree stand, shooting straight across to the next hill. I'm gonna have some more videos from um, this first weekend of uh, Missouri's firearm season. So uh, subscribe so you can catch the, the next of the videos. And um, I'm gonna probably try to get out uh, the second weekend and I may do some hunting around the Kansas City area. I haven't decided yet. I don't think I'm going to be going back to North Missouri. It could be possible, but I don't think I will be. I'm redneck in a hat. Um, I'll see you guys later.